with a population of just over 1 million people on 84,000 square kilometers, Arunachal is one of India's most sparsely populated states. The Monpa people of Tawang live in the far west of Arunachal Pradesh, on the border of Bhutan and Tibet. Here, tucked away in the mountains, the Monpas practice Tibetan Buddhism. Buddhism in Tawang dates back to the 11th century and has been influenced by a variety of missionaries and sects ever since. Today, most Monpas belong to the Gelukba sect. Tawang was part of Tibet until the Makmohan line was drawn in 1914 in an effort to define India's borders. The area thus retains many similarities to Tibet. The Monpas speak six sub-dialects of a language that derived from Tibetan. Though they use the Tibetan script, the Monpa languages are mutually unintelligible to Tibetan. The use of prayer flags also indicates a tie to Tibetan culture. Clusters of flags can be seen on the mountain sides of Tawang. They are placed there after a death, with one flag for each year in the life of the deceased. Prayer flags are believed to have origins in the pre-Buddhist Bon religion and are traditionally wood block printed with texts and images. The flags are hung not only to carry prayers to God, but to spread goodwill and compassion to benefit all, and are dyed in five colours to represent the elements of sky, air, fire, water and earth. Prayer wheels like prayer flags are also part of Tibetan culture and are directly linked to the Buddhist religion. Prayer wheels can be found all over Tawang. Prayers or mantras are written on the outside of the wheels and when turned are a physical representation of reciting the prayer. The mantra most commonly found on prayer wheels, Om Mani Padmeham, is meant to steer the mind towards enlightenment energies. Perhaps this is what sustains the monks in their monastic studies and meditations. The town of Tawang, home to 20,000 people, is most famous for the beautiful Tawang Monastery. The monastery was built in 1681 in accordance with the wishes of the 5th Dalai Lama. It is the largest monastery in India and is currently home to about 450 monks. Young monks receive a traditional monastic education as well as standard education in subjects such as mathematics, Hindi and English. Besides study, prayer and meditation, monks, young and old, are also responsible for leading some of the town's religious festivals and celebrations, which are often accompanied by parades, music and colourful costume. One of the most awe-inspiring parts of a visit to the monastery is entering its grand assembly hall. The altar occupies the entire northern side of the hall, where the 27-foot tall statue of Lord Buddha sits. It is in this hall that monks gather, pray, study and eat. The monastery has been a cornerstone of Monpa life for centuries and judging by the Dalai Lama's recent visit to Tawang in 2002, it will remain so for years to come. The Monpa people, influenced by Tibetan Buddhism, but also by their unique tribal and spiritual identity, have made this tiny corner of India a world of their own. Arunachal Pradesh remains relatively unexplored by the outside world. With its rich and diverse tribal cultures, it is a unique face of India. As globalization expands its reach into India's far eastern state, the tribes of Arunachal Pradesh have become less and less isolated. However, despite a shift in cultural practices towards a more modern lifestyle, Arunachal still remains rooted in its traditional religious and cultural ways and its people continue to celebrate its heritage. It shares its border with Bhutan in the west, Tibet in the north and Myanmar in the east. Much of Arunachal Pradesh is mountainous, covered by the Himalaya in the north and west and the Patkai hills in the east. The state is also home to countless valleys and rivers, the mightiest being the Siang. The climate of Arunachal Pradesh ranges from alpine to temperate to subtropical, varying with elevation. 
The state receives heavy rainfall during its monsoon every May to September, making it the perfect home for dense forest and an enormous diversity of plant and animal life. Much of the Arunachal population lives in tribes whose ancestors are believed to have migrated from pre-Buddhist Tibet two to three thousand years ago. Oral histories and material culture, including the traditional way of dressing and religious practices, are the strongest indicators of a Tibeto-Burman origin among many of the tribes. The Arunachalis are a happy people, with very low stress levels in their lives. They love their song and dance, their evening drink, and they love their meats and even vegetarian foods. Arunachalis seem to already be where the rest of the world wants to get to, a community that lives close together, in happy isolation from the rest of the world, with little or no antagonism, leading self-sufficient, healthy and balanced lives with a virtually non-existent crime rate.